So as a starting point then, this is quite the political film with, with a lot of horror and a lot of action. Um, what for you was, was appealing about the, the screenplay when you first picked it up? Um, I mean, for me personally, it's a, it's a physical representation on the social class divide. Um, you know, the teenagers being switched out for foxes and being hunted. Um, you know, it was... Yeah, I mean, Vix, Vix for me is, it was a beautiful character to read because she was a female who, you know, nothing to do with her character was based on sex or beauty. Um, and a lot of low socioeconomic, uh, you know, working class women are represented as unintelligent, unambitious. Um, I've come across that a lot in, in castings that I've been before, obviously because of my accent. Um, and actually, Vix had a bit of spark, you know? She had a bit of sass and she was in, intelligent, she had wit and she was smart. And as I can speak for working class women, we are. So, <laughs> funny that. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it's an interesting point you make there because that, when I was when I was right thinking about it, I was thinking I was calling your, your the gang of your like honourable thieves, yeah. and then I thought, depending on your viewpoint, would be whether you would agree whether you're honourable or not. Yeah. That's the thing with this. It's like, cool, what we're doing is bad, but what they're doing is wrong as well. So you can't. There's no. We're the good guys, but we're not the good guys, and they're not the good guys. So that's another thing that, like you were saying, that the social about the um, the, the social economic class of this whole film being that some people now our group of friends it's not a stereotypical film it's not just about it's not about a gang yeah, yeah and fighting against each other sometimes we really need sometimes we really need um, what's it called again finances to, to, to fund our lives and it's, that, it's, the, it's the perspective thing you were saying yeah it's about. exactly and, it's, and it also comes down to what drew me to this is especially it comes down to perspective versus reality that the reality of you know, these lot see that Chaz can be so much better than the area that they're growing up in. But they're all struggling. But Chaz's perspective is that he's not better than this because he's in it. He's yeah. already in it as well. So, and this is the thing that a lot of people could, a lot of people battle with. I, they battle with it as, as well. They think the, um, what's it called again? The upper class in the film mm. believe that um, they are untouchable. I think that's reality as well, and to be honest. That, you know what? Honestly, that is reality as well. That they feel like they're untouchable and what they're doing is right. It's like they they know what's right and everything that we do is wrong unless they tell us that what we're doing is right. Yeah. So, but it's a, it's a, I was talking to you earlier, wasn't I, about values and metrics. And, yeah. you know, if you think of the value of honour, they both have a different metric at which they measure honour yeah. as, as classes, you know. Like, honour to Chaz and Vicks would be totally different to Catherine and, you know... That lot, yeah. the Red Ricks. I mean, we had a no-kill policy. Yeah. We've got a no-kill policy, and you see how, if we were to murder, they'll call us animals. But if they're to murder, it's just, no, we're, yeah. we're rich. And yeah. Now, I was, I was speaking to your auntie before I came to do this, oh, yeah. and she cried at the, at the fatal moment of yourself. How do you prepare for something like that? Um, for me, I work a lot with sense memory, Uta Hagen stuff. Um, and music, that's another thing. So Tommy was really generous with the time that we got to okay. to prep. Yeah, because we didn't film chronologically the scenes. So, you know, I took myself away to a tree, a bit of deeper. No, we, we had time, we had time. And you have to really get your... Because for me, it's about doing that character justice, whether it's, you know, a bit on the nose or whatever. It's like she... Yeah, we had to, we had to get to some real places. So I'd go off, put my headphones in, um, and think about some really tough stuff actually that I probably shouldn't say out loud. But um, yeah, just some some real dark stuff. So bring it, you know, having Malachi there to, when we came out of it, being like, "You good? Yeah, you good?" Like because. I didn't really remember doing some of the scenes. Yeah. The scene in the car before I got my clubs. We um we were like it was like a daze. It was like we were really dazed. One last question. Click you, you you all seem to be like a gang, so how did you perfect that kind of chemistry between you? Because I can't guess you knew each other before the film. No, we didn't, but you know what? It just came to the moments we had to to break, we were just speaking, we were just talking and me and that because we had so many days on set together. After we'd speak for hours, yeah. I remember us speaking for so long. We were just about the same yeah, and we were staying we? in the same place as well. So we'd yeah. speak, we were literally just there speaking for hours, and it would just be about life. It wouldn't even have to be about the film, but 
that's how we got the natural chemistry on set. And I felt like the same with um, with Ross, the same with Junior as well. Just having that time to banter and with the cast, with the with the crew as well. Yeah. Having that time to be together and to laugh as well. We put so much effort, so much blood, sweat, tears into We didn't have, we had 18 days to get it together, to get all of the scenes we needed to. I mean, me and, me and Mally had a scene where we were like laid in cow poo that didn't make the cut, so we laid in cow poo for nothing. For no reason. Um, but yeah, I think, and obviously we had to do COVID tests every morning, so we'd see every person in the crew and all of these COVID tests lined up. So yeah, it was a real like, Everyone's everyone played a part. It was like cogs in, in a big wheel. I think this was film, but Well look, congratulations on Alan, it's a wonderful film. And thank you very much for giving me time on Fright Fest TV. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, fantastic, well done. Thank you.